the prince visited the minefield outside Dirico and remotely detonated a mine. Poignant images from the scene echo those of the late Princess Diana, who visited a de-mining site in Meat Mine, victims.The images became powerful symbols of her support to create a global ban on landmines and help build the image of her as a people's princess.Prince Harry will today visit the site where his mother was photographed and see how it has been transformed from a minefield to a street full of shops, schools and houses.Later on Friday, the prince will visit the Huambo Orthopedic Center, which was also visited by his mother in 1997. He will also unveil the new name of the center that will be named for his mother. Speaking after his walk through the minefield, the prince described landmines as an unhealed scar of war. By clearing the landmines, we can help this community find peace, and with peace comes opportunity, he said. Additionally, we can protect the diverse and unique wildlife that relies on the beautiful Kuito River that I slept beside last night. That river and those wildlife are your natural assets, and if looked after, will bring you unlimited opportunities within a conservation-led economy. It is fitting that this project starts in Dirico, at the convergence of the two rivers that flow from Angola's highlands down to the Akavango Delta. These two rivers provide water and life to over a million people downstream, and an essential and incredibly delicate habitat for an abundance of wildlife. Just as these rivers extend for miles, so must this project extend far beyond Dirico. Outside the national parks, large parts of this crucial watershed also need to be cleared of landmines. Tourism, which is already bringing investment, economic growth, and fostering worldwide appreciation for Southern Africa's unique natural and cultural treasures, will continue to grow. Ecotourism will bring more jobs to Angola in the future than its oil and gas industry. In the days ahead, Prince Harry will visit a maternity hospital and travel to Malawi before returning to South Africa to reunite with Meghan and his five month old son. Archie.The Duke and Duchess's tour of South Africa has focused on highlighting challenges on climate, female empowerment, and fighting HIV. Baby Archie also made headlines around the world in a rare public appearance when he met Archbishop Desmond Tutu.